Welcome back. In this short video, I'm going to go through how to calculate a gyro or magnetic compass error using a planet. If you haven't already done so, please watch the earlier video where I showed how to calculate using the sun, as some of the steps are explained in more detail there. You can also download the pro forma that is used in my examples from my website. The link is in the description below. Before we start our calculations, we need to take our bearing of the planet. Don't worry if you don't know which planet it is, I will explain how to work this out in a later video. We also need to note down the exact time we have taken the observation, which will also convert to universal time. We note down the vessel's position, as well as the vessel's heading as shown on the gyro and magnetic compasses. For this example, we're going to use Venus. It's the 10th of April 2016, and the time is 1.49 and 17 seconds UTC. We are in a position of 15 degrees, 58 decimal zero south, and 063 degrees, 16 decimal zero east. The ship's heading was 090 by gyro compass, and 104 and a half degrees by magnetic compass. Lastly, our observed bearing of the planet was 085 degrees. Taking our nautical almanac, we turn to the appropriate daily page. In this case, the page for the 10th of April. On the left-hand page, we have the column for Venus, which contains the information we require. Firstly, we take the Greenwich hour angle for Venus for the hour we require. In this case, 0100, where the value is 208 degrees, 10 decimal 9 minutes, and we enter it into the GHA box on our pro forma. Next, we take the declination at that time, which is north, 0 degrees, 45 decimal 1 minutes, and we enter it into the deck box on our pro forma. If we look at the bottom of the column, we see there is a V and a D value. These are corrections for the body we are using, so we can make a note of these values on our pro forma. Also note that the declination between 0100 and 0200 is increasing. Turning to the increments and corrections page in our nautical almanac, are coloured yellow and located near the back of the 2016 Admiralty Nautical Almanac, we can find the necessary corrections and increments as we're not calculating exactly on the hour. Turning to the page for 49 minutes and from the table we read off the value for planets at 17 seconds and enter it into the ink box on our pro forma. We can also now take the values for V and D from the 49 minute table. In this case, V was negative 0.4, so we read the 0.4 value and treat it as a negative. So we are entering 0.3 as a negative in our CV box. We also do the same for D, where we get 1 decimal 0, which we enter into the CD box on our pro forma. As the declination for Venus was increasing between 0.100 and 0.200, we add the D correction to the initial declination which gives us a corrected declination of north 0 degrees 46 decimal 1 minutes. We can now calculate our GHA for 1.49 and 17 seconds. So we add the V correction and increment to the initial GHA and enter the result of 220 degrees 29 decimal 9 minutes in the second GHA box. As we're not on the prime meridian, we have to correct for our longitude. As the longitude is east, we add it to our GHA value, giving us a local hour angle of 283 degrees, 45 decimal 9 minutes. On a side note, it is possible when working with large longitude corrections that your LHA will be less than 0 or greater than 360 degrees. For the mathematics, this doesn't actually make a difference. However, you can simply add or subtract 360 degrees until your LHA is back between 0 and 360. When we put our values into the formula, remembering to enter the latitude as a negative value as we're in a position south of the equator, we receive the answer 85.39, which we convert to a quadrantal using the table on the right of the performer, giving us north 85.4 degrees east, which is 085.4 degrees true. Now we can work out the gyro error as we have done in the previous examples. Earlier we said we had taken the bearing of Venus and it was 085 degrees. We calculated that the true bearing of Venus was 085.4 degrees 
so we enter these into the appropriate box on our proforma. When we subtract the gyro error from the true bearing, we get 0 decimal 4 degrees. As it's positive, we consider it to be low, so our gyro error is 0 0.4 degrees low. Now we can work out our magnetic compass error and deviation. We know our gyro heading was 090, so when we add our gyro error, we get a true heading of 090 decimal 4 degrees. We know the magnetic heading was 104 and a half degrees, so we can subtract this from our true heading, giving us a magnetic error of negative 14 decimal 1 degrees, which as it's negative, we name west. From our nautical charts, we find that the variation in our position is 13 decimal 5 degrees west. As it's west, we again consider it to be a negative value, so we can subtract our variation from our magnetic compass error, which gives us negative 0 0.6 degrees. As it's negative, it's named west, so our magnetic deviation on our current heading is 0 0.6 degrees west. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click the like button, and make sure you subscribe to get notified when I post my next video. Don't forget to check out my previous how-to videos, which explain how to do the gyro and magnetic compass error from other celestial bodies.